Oh yeah, I gotta buy a watch. Dude, where are you? You're late. Okay, I really put it on you. Welcome to the Masters of Boredom, where apparently nothing is off the table. Literally nothing! Dominion is the granddaddy of deck builders. It may not be the first, but it is the most refined, streamlined, and just plain fun deck builders I have ever played. It is addicting, it is mentally challenging, and it is always satisfying, win or lose. When it comes to having a customized game layout, Dominion is your go-to game. It's a build-your-own-deck-builder deck builder. There's plenty of choices, whether you use the randomizer cards, choose from a prefabricated list, or just choose your own cards. The game's unique and different every single time. Let's talk about the gameplay. Turns are generally pretty quick, especially once you have a few games under your belt and can plan your turn ahead of time, or learn to adapt your action combos to the cards that you'll draw during your turn. The game constantly rewards you for this. Long action combos can make some turns feel epic, which in turn allow you to get more cards you can combo with. It's a positive feedback loop in board game form, and I love it! The gameplay is remarkably simple, but the strategy still feels intense. You have to have a plan. You can't just buy cards haphazardly, unless you're my wife. Jesse does Jesse, and she wins. Every time. Seriously, if you haven't seen our Let's Play, there'll be a link at the end of the video for you to click on and watch your insane genius at work. This is a pure deck building game. Without a doubt, the player who wins will be the player with the best, strongest deck. Because with very limited exceptions, you cannot affect the other players in any meaningful way. Uh, at best, you might be able to get them to draw or discard or destroy something, uh, or maybe give them a curse. But even then, uh, you still cannot stop them from pursuing whatever strategy they like and they cannot stop you. So the only person who can damage or determine your success is you. There's no wrong way to march your kingdom to victory. There's 10 cards to choose from and you pick the strategy that works best for you to acquire victory points. Maybe you chain actions together to provide purchasing power to get bigger coins and buy victory cards. Or perhaps you concentrate on merely having more treasure in your deck so that you can buy victory points outright. In either case, there's no wrong way to play the game. I'm going to talk very briefly about the art. Very, very briefly. I couldn't tell you what any of the cards look like, except maybe the treasure cards. The art might as well not even be there. And I know that somebody worked very hard on the art for this game, but I'm telling you that the gameplay is so strong that I've never taken more than a cursory glance at any of the images on the cards. The art's probably very nice, who knows? The theme can go whip itself. I like the aesthetics, and maybe that's because I've been a Magic player for so long, but I appreciate the art and the flavor text, even if Aaron doesn't. And I know we rag a lot on the vacuum forming industry, but that's because a lot of board games waste a ton of space. This game, however, is really flawless. It's well divided and labeled for easy sorting, and who doesn't like convenience? The cards are well made. This is the most thoroughly and frequently played game that we have reviewed so far. And despite tons and tons of shuffling and one unfortunate incident where the game stayed in a car for a month in sub-zero temperatures, the cards have held up remarkably well. The cards are glossy and flexible for easy shuffling and clearly not flimsy or cheap feeling. This game was a great investment. In fact, we don't often talk about the companies behind the games, but I just wanted to take a second to point out that every game that I own from Rio Grande Games has been well made and a lot of fun. So good on you, Rio Grande Games. Keep up the good work. So what's the word? Preeminent. Would you put that thing away? I've asked you how many times. Sorry, preeminent. Preeminent is the perfect word. Dominion is the superior deck building experience. And with nearly a dozen expansions, it's endlessly replayable, and it's unique each and every single time. And it's a blast. 
I've probably played about a hundred games with my wife, and I've won about three of them. And despite that, I will never turn her down for a game. Even in defeat, the game is endlessly enjoyable and gratifying. If Dominion has one flaw, it's that the theme doesn't matter. Uh, and in my opinion, doesn't fit the game as well as it could. Dominion is a game about a monarch building his empire, but I have never felt that way while playing this game. I feel more like a, an architect or an inventor. Uh, building a precision engine with new parts and different strategies with every outing. And regardless of whether I win or lose, Dominion is extremely rewarding every time. I can't say that about every game I own. And that's the game. I'm CJ. And I'm Aaron. Please dominate that like and subscribe button and submit to watching the rest of our videos. The safety word is masters. Hello. I'm Aaron from the Masters of Boredom. When you finished liking and subscribing, we'd appreciate it if you would click on one of these two videos here. Uh, that's because every click uh, helps uh, the people in need, who are currently me and my friend CJ, very much in need of your clicks.